Hi, this is Russ Anderson. I'm going to demonstrate some automatic tracking techniques in Synthize. Just running through an entire shot. So I'm opening it up now and it's just a helicopter flyover of Philadelphia. It's uh, from Artbeats. And I'll fire up the automatic solver and it's going and finding some 2D features. Those are all the little marks there. They start out green, that's the 2D feature. And then it they get solved to get a 3D location. And those are these uh, axes that you see not over in the image over there, but uh, also in the uh, 3D viewports. If we zoom in a bit, you'll see that there's a camera path as well as all these tracker locations. Now, initially, there, there can be some trackers that aren't so great there. We'll just select some of them. And you'll see one of them is actually like a car down there and so on. So uh, Synthize does have this tool to get rid of those things. Let's just run that. And now we can just do a quick resolve. And normally we go and, and take a little more careful look maybe to find things that are problematic. But here we can see that you drop the error from you know, almost a pixel and a half down to uh, under four tenths of a pixel. So we, we've done pretty well here. Now you'll see that all the trackers are kind of up in the air here and at an angle. And the images themselves don't say at all where the entire scene should be positioned in the 3D environment inside of Synthize and ultimately inside the 3D application or compositing application that you want to use. And that's really up to you. It's an artistic decision. Now Synthize does have an automatic tool for doing that as well as it has uh, manual tools for doing it as well. And the manual tools, of course, are more accurate and let you tailor something that's specific to what you're actually trying to do. Here for illustration we'll just click the uh, automatic button and I'll point out there is a preference that that runs that automatically but then we wouldn't have a chance to talk about it here. So having clicked that button now the entire scene snaps down onto the ground plane the helicopter is flying overhead. You'll see over here all these little uh, blue axes are the trackers that have been assigned to the ground plane. Now one of them is over here and it corresponds to the location of something right near where we want to do an insert. And we're going to go and create a new statue out here in this traffic circle. So we'll just kind of move them out in the right area there and maybe we'll make them not quite that large. But uh, now we've got that statue out in that 3D environment. So it's always important to look at the nearby trackers to help guide the inserts. And here I just did that very coarsely. Uh, I should actually look at the height of that thing as well. Because the exact positioning of the object determines whether or not they're sliding. Because really what sliding is, is a positioning error by you, the user, in not locating the feature into the environment at the right location. So if the guy is up in the air, is down below ground, it's going to look like it's sliding. You say it's sliding, but what that means is that you need to adjust the positioning and the nearby trackers tell you where you should have that object. So once we have that, we can go and export and here we've got Cinema 4D handy. So let's just go and export to that. I'm just putting it back in the same directory. So we'll just overwrite the existing one and we'll use the default settings. So that just created a Python file. Now we can go over to Cinema 4D and just tell it we want to run that script. So here it is. Let Cinema 4D run it. And now we've got our scene set up just the same way inside Cinema 4D. We've got our guys over there. We've got the whole set of trackers scattered all around here that say where everything is in the scene so that we can use them as references if we want to add additional objects and so on. So now we can go and start animating, doing whatever we like inside that Cinema 4D environment. And Synthize exports to about 25 different applications. And generally they have the same sort of flavor. You export a file from Synthize, you read it in in the other application, and now you've got that same environment in that new application. So I hope that gives you some idea what Synthize is about. Take care.